Dear Jamaicans, I could talk about the maroon them again now. Within a prime minister who seemed to be losing it. He's becoming quite unhinged, don't it? From crying to getting angry to temper tantrums. He seems to be in a war with everybody. The Rastafarians, the Maroons, the unvaccinated. It's like him confused. Him just all over the place picking wars. But let's focus today on the war in picking with the Maroons. First and foremost, it seems like him don't understand what's going on. All we know says the lands him want, right? He's, he seems to be in quite a pickle because he must have promised Noranda so then he can't get the land for mine out. And Nepa put a spokes in him wheel and he can't get the land. All of a sudden you hear about secret secret memorandum of understanding or secret memo, I should say, where God say they must, no government ministry must engage with, with the Maroons. To his dismay, Sister Babsy engaged with the Maroons and allowed the Maroons to carry out them festival, etc. It seemed like he's a little bit upset. But what Andrew Holness needs to do is just breathe and take a step back and stop warring with these indigenous people because they are considered indigenous people and it's a war that him can't win. Curry is right, you know, if you watch Curry's um, press conference, which was almost immediately after his own yesterday, in the evening actually, Curry says that, listen, Jamaica really isn't a sovereign state. We, we really aren't. We are still a part of the Commonwealth. We are independent, yes. But we still have the Queen as our head of state. So Corey is right. So for the Prime Minister to talk about independent state and funding, no independent, basically it would be the, the independent state funding another independent state. But, but Sir Prime Minister, look how much independent states fund Jamaica. Don't Jamaica just go around the place and beg? Chinese is an independent country, don't. And look how much fund them fund Jamaica. The US too. UK. EU. All sort of people fund we and we are supposed to be an independent state. So what is your point, sir? What is your point? What you should do is try and sit down with Chief Curry. I iron out on the differences. Because this is a war you can't win. Because guess what? You don't have many allies because you turn everybody against you. You pick a war with everybody. Everybody you walk around and pick war with. So who like you? You put down your crocodile tears the other day and everybody laugh after you. What does that tell you? Nobody was sympathetic with you. Listen, tread carefully. I said this all the time. You're not treading carefully. You need to learn some emotional intelligence. Learn how to deal with people. You are not God Almighty and you are not the be all and end all. Argument done. Have yourself a great day. Right now you know we unstoppable. Unstoppable, that means can't stop you. Unstoppable, It seems the conversation surrounding Andrew Wellness versus the Maroons not intend to end no time soon enough. Because more and more Jamaicans speaking up in defense of the Maroons. Even in this video I have coming up, the brother say, yo, if push come to shove, him ready to stand up with the Maroons and fight. But do we really need it to get there? Me personally, no. Because I believe that things should be able to be worked out in an amicable manner. But nonetheless, let's take a listen to what this brother is saying in the video. Ladies and gentlemen, the good citizen of Jamaica, Good citizen of this country. Yeah. Me no know if water go on with the prime minister and and, and, and the maroon chief or with the maroons them if he really if he concern concerning to 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 Jamaica Jamaican citizen, but it's very concerning to me. Because some little boy I grew up and me I go to school, me here say maroon them have their land. And the maroon them have their own hospital, their own police, their own prison and everything. And them is an independent nation of people. As much as them black. But them independent, them have everything up there. They don't depend on government for nothing. You understand? Them have their own Christmas, whatever time they want to have it. And then one summer and then one whatever time they want to have it and nobody never used to interfere with them. But people used to just go, go support them. I go support them thing or whatever. So me know what it go. Right? And a more than couple prime minister serve a Jamaica. You understand? Whole heap of prime minister serve a Jamaica. I mean never hear say 
in my life. So none of them did have a problem with the maroons and the land. But all of a sudden now this God. You understand? This, this man who think him a God. Think him can just come and come take over. And overthrow the maroons. They must sell you sell the people them land. Prime Minister, you sell the people them land. I know you want to cause problem. What you, what you think? You, what you think? You kill off, kill them off. Like one of the killer of the people them at Tivoli. Let me tell you something. If it happen for war, if it start a maroon town, remember Jamaican citizen. Right? I go join the maroons them. You may I tell you? So all me can say, Mr. Prime Minister, may I beg you? Leave the maroons them alone. You understand? Leave the maroons them alone, brother. You understand? Because we don't want no war if it start a Jamaica. Because when we get to understand, anytime you see one of the leaders, See any little region we no want. Right? I so no always go pick pick round the people them. And either uno, 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 um wanna go kill them or uno, uno bring disease go give the people them. You understand me? I say, if you get rid of them if you take the land. You understand? I mean I tell you the truth, this is the only war where me think say, right? I go start a Jamaica where uno na go win. You understand me? I say, uno na go win as much as the as the maroon them a small Amount of people. This is war and I got done. You understand? I want to go win. So when you talk about a them sitting here cause gorilla warfare and all that kind of something, brother. You are a prime minister and a leader of the country. Right? You can't use your ignorance. Right? Because if anybody listen to your statement and say you're a bully. You understand? I mean already the talk already and say you are the only prime minister we have to serve at Jamaica, we have to go run away. You understand? Just like Aristide, I saw you have to go pack up your bang around them and run away. You understand? Because some agenda where you are pushed. And some brute force where you are pushed by the people. Them. You understand? No leader. You understand? No do them something there. Leader is supposed to be a humble person. A humble person. So people can respect you. But a bad man business you are dealing with. Because you have the security force behind you. And every security... Uh, if this war should start, a lot of security, a lot of Jamaica police and soldiers are going to lose their job because they're not going to go down there. You understand? This man here, me don't understand this man here. Me have a feeling, say, it's sell yourself the people them land. Sell yourself the cockpit country. I know you want to make trouble with the maroons them so you can go and go kill them off. You understand? If you, if you, if you, if you, if you take over. But this a war, brother, it's not going to end. Easy. You understand? Are the only nation of people where when me I tell you as much as a small amount. Right? You know I got end pretty brother. Holy Papa Prime Minister serve at Jamaica and then never ever 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 have a problem with the maroons them. But all of a sudden you come now, you, you go down and go harass them before and you go back again. I know the people them keep them supper, then keep is the annual thing where they keep every year. And then you send people down there. If you can make trouble, if you make people dead down there, if you make you look like the maroons them are bad people. We don't understand for your chicks. You understand? Because I tell people say it's a very cunning man. And you, you're very dis you're very deceiving. And you cannot get the maroons them land. Because the land belongs to them at 283 years, the maroon them down there. So. And check how much Prime Minister come through Jamaica from that and they never have a problem with the people. Them. But all of a sudden you come now, you, you, you total take over. When the war starts at Jamaica, you say, you got pretty brother. You understand what I say? Because I did tell you already before, say there's a lot of sleeping giants here. You understand? When I make trouble with nobody and I hold them down. You understand? Because we already see where you're up to already. And we see what will happen already. So you need to reconsider your foolishness where you keep up. A lot of people are afraid to get up and, 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 and speak out and, 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 and tell you you're wrong. You understand? Because they're afraid police come for them and soldiers come for them and get them go lock them up. Eh? If you hold on, you can't lock up for when we speak the truth, brother. How long? How much are we you can kill? 
crime and violence get out of hand. A Jamaica and, 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 and people, children get kidnapped. And you're not putting so much effort in a hit. And, and, and call up on the bad man them and bad them up. I mean, they know, say, yo, all the foolish you're not keep up if it's done. Right? But the, the maroons, them, they don't know, give no trouble now, them you're going to pick pan. Eh? Tell me now. And then you're going to pick one. I tell a man, say, the next election, if there is another one, anybody in my household vote for you. I vote for anyone of the party that me, look for me, me, I poison them. You understand? Because this thing I get out of hand, brother. You need to step down and go, man. We, 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 don't want, we, don't, we don't want to see you. We don't like you, man, because you're a thief. You're a murderer. You're a wicked. You're the wickedest prime minister ever come to Jamaica. And I play like, say, like you're cool. Hmm? You, you know how much wrongs you, you mix up, you know? Joe Biden have your secret, brother. Joe Biden have your secret. Right? And, and we don't just remember, say, me did say this. Say, Joe Biden have this man's secret. Right? And sooner or later, the whole world are going to know and you hold a secret with Joe Biden and have him. You see me? So you have one little man there. As Minister of Security, sleeping police. Sleeping police. Yeah. Because he now do nothing. Crime rate are climb. Every day a crime rate are climb. And more people are dead. And more things are happening on our teeth. More money. But it's just the maroons them now you want to accept pan. Eh? Some of the advice, your brother. Just leave the maroons them alone. Just leave, let the maroons them be. Because if the war start, Jamaican people are going to join them. You understand? So it's going to be nation against nation. And tribe against tribe. You understand? So the people them are going to go first, the security force. Because we are going to join the maroons them. Because we don't see what the maroons them are doing. For you just a pick on them, so. You know, say me can shake me eye around Jamaica. Shake me eye around the country. Me, could I shut my eyes or shut one of my eye around Jamaica? Because me see what is the problem? Is corruption is the problem? I me talk over and over and over. Say so corruption is the problem. Me I get rid of you. I me I get rid of the Minister of Finance. Right. I may get rid of the Minister of Security and then everything after that day. I go I feel good. So may I beg you, sir. As much as a lot of people don't like when me talk, all them tell me say they want the police kill me. How much are we police can kill? Eh? Why you want police to kill me? Because me I talk the truth. Eh? Why someone don't like to hear the truth? Hmm? Why is someone who don't like to hear the truth? I send out a few look of videos and I go and I read the comments. A lot of people who, are, who are police kill me soon. For what? Hmm? Am I a murderer? Am I killing somebody when I speak the truth? Or am I killing a, a dirty conscience? If you see the truth and turn a blind eye. Eh? I don't know why police kill me for. Because I come out and tell the truth. Let me tell you something, man. I don't have no fear. I never born with the spirit of fear. You understand? Our Babylon never give, the, never, never put fear, never educate me with fear. So if, me, if it's me mother wrong, you're wrong for me. You understand? Anybody wrong, wrong. So if the Prime Minister wrong, him wrong. Stop pick, pick, pan the maroon them. Or the maroons. And leave the maroons them. A war you want, if you start so you can't send a security force to you know, kill off the maroons them, like how you know, kill off the people in Matibali. Right? And not, not come out of it. It's not going work so this time. You understand? Because we eyes open to the dirty corruption. And anytime this party has come out of power, we are going to have a better Jamaica. I have a crime fee country. Now, whenever I drop videos like these, I would go in the comment section and I see some people asking this question. Unstoppable, why do you give these people your platform? What you need to remember is this. I created a platform and I'm using this platform to give persons like you 
advice. Persons like you who would not normally be heard because you may not have a huge platform like I do. And you should not bash the person who is speaking out when they see wrong being done because everybody should have a voice. Everybody should have an opinion. And not because the person may be speaking out against your favorite person doesn't mean that person should not voice their concerns. You should be voicing your concerns as well if you're a concerned Jamaican citizen. Not only when the problem reach your doorstep, you should be able to stand up and say, this is what I have to say. No, everything that affects the country, you should have a say in it as well. So don't bash the person who is speaking up when they see wrongs happening. Everybody should have an opinion. What's yours? Talk to me down below in the comment section. This has been another one from Unstoppable TV. Like, share, comment. And definitely if this is your first time and you have not yet hit that subscribe button, please consider hitting the subscribe button now. Turn on all your notifications. Once you upload a video, you will get notified. No matter what, don't let nobody stop you. I'm unstoppable and I'm out. Right now you know we're unstoppable. Unstoppable.